Hello everybody and welcome. Surprise, surprise, we are not on PLCs today. We're moving away from industrial automation and having a look at some home-baked Modbus on a Raspberry Pi, just like grandma used to make. To do this, we're gonna be using a USB to RS-485 adapter. Um, you can use one of these guys, which is a Max 485, uh, but you need to address it over something like SPI or UART or something like that. That's maybe another video for another day. Uh, but effectively what is on here is inside of here. We just have the USB to make lives a lot easier for ourselves. What I would suggest as well is if you're doing anything with Modbus, get a couple of these in. Uh, they've got a million uses, they're fantastic. Well, as long as you've got a million Modbus related issues. So to do this, we just need to do three easy steps. The first thing we need to do is get the Pi to actually know where this guy is USB wise. Uh, it's pretty simple, but it needs to be done. Otherwise you're just addressing the wrong ports and it just won't work. Second thing is just one line of bash script is to install the library. So we're using a very simple library called minimal Modbus for this. Uh, like I say, one line of bash script, no big deal. And the third thing is to actually write and execute the code to get this guy to talk with this guy and read off what the temperatures and humidities are over Modbus. Boom, done. Easy as pie. Ha, let's get to it. Well, wiring this thing up is simplicity itself. We have 24 volts going into the power and our data cables, the white and the yellow, there are A and B, and those are going into A and B on the converter. We don't have a ground on this sensor, so we just left that unconnected. And one thing to note though, we haven't plugged it in to the Pi yet. I'll come into why that's important now. All right, let's get into it. So first thing we're gonna do is SSH into our Pi. This is just a way of controlling a Pi from another computer. I'm doing this because my video capture is on my computer and not on the Pi, and I'm lazy. So we'll go in here, bring the terminal across, and we'll log in. Okay, we are in like sin. So I'm gonna do it in a bit of a different order from the introduction. First thing we're gonna do is download this library, which as promised is just one line of bash. But before we do that, we just wanna update and upgrade our Pi just to make sure it's all running the most recent software. So that's a, the bit of a caveat. So as always with this stuff, we're gonna do sudo apt get and then we're going to do upgrade sorry update now i haven't got this connected to the internet but if i did i'd press enter here for you it might take a little while for it to download all of the stuff and then once that has run and worked okay put in that and then press enter and then it'll upgrade all your stuff and then you are good to go so as promised hello as promised, the single line of bash that we need to do to install this library, um, it's gonna be sudo and then pip three, because I'm using uh, Python three. So um, if you're doing this uh, for the code I've written, it hinges on some Python three stuff. So if you're copying that, just make sure it's all in, in Python three. So pip three install, and then the name of this library that we want to install is minimal modbus. All one word. Once that is in, press enter and it'll install it. It shouldn't take more than a few seconds. Again, I'm not going to, no internet. But that is the first thing out of the way and we have installed the library. So what we want to do now is find where this USB is. The USB itself uh, will be listed in a file called dev from the root. Um, what we want to do, uh, well, I'm gonna go into my Modbus folder now. So I'm gonna go to MB. So in here, we just have a file called Modbus PY. So this is something I knocked up earlier. What we want to do is have a look in dev and I'm just gonna show you what inside of dev looks like. So I'm gonna list out all the stuff in dev from the root. So this is everything in there. And when this is why we didn't plug in the USB to start with. 
This is all the stuff that is in there right now. When we plug it in, there's gonna be another thing that pops up in here. And what we're looking for, probably one of these TTY numbers. Um, if you really wanted to, you could write out all of these, plug it in and then see what the difference is. But there's a, a pretty simple way of, of doing that to, to get the difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a text file of everything in there, inside of this, um, this mode MB file. And to do that, we just do ls minus one dev, and we're gonna pop this into a folder that we're gonna call uh, dev.text. Boom. So now if we have a look in our folder, we can see we have Modbus PY and we have dev.text. Let's just have a sneaky peek in that text folder. And you can just see, we got a list in there of, of everything that is in that folder. Now what we're going to do is actually plug in this USB And we're going to run exactly the same code as we did before. Being very slow today. And we're going to call this dev2 or dev1 because we don't have a dev2. One. Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> so now in our folder, we should have two text files dev and dev1 and the difference between them will be what we have plugged in. So we can just run diff to find the difference between dev.text and dev1text. There we go. So these are all the differences. You can ignore all of this stuff. And what we're looking for is this TTY number. So USB zero. That's the critical bit that we need to, that we need to know. So if you wanted to, you can then remove those uh, two text folders because it's told us everything that we, that we need. And that is how you find what the USB device is called. It might be different for you. That might be one or two or you know, whatever, but that's how you find it. And that is going to go into our code that we're going to have a look at now. Okay, so let's get into the guts of it. Let's have a look at the code. As I mentioned before, we have this file here called Modbus PY. Let's open it up and have a walk through how this code actually works. All right, so this is the code. Don't worry if it looks a bit, uh, um, everything in red is just a comment that I've put in to help you guys um, do this for yourself and just let you know what each bit does. So the first important bit is this import function here. So we need to import the library minimal mod bus. Um, if you don't import it, this whole thing won't work. So that's kind of critical to the whole thing working. Next thing down is the mod bus address. Um, from the last video, um, we know that the address of what we're looking for is nine. So you just change this little number here to whatever your address is, and it should feed it into, feed it into the next line. Next. Uh, next thing is actually to create um, this instrument and I've called it Sensi Boy and it takes two arguments. Um, it has the, the port name and the slave address. So this slave address here gets directly put into here and this is where we needed to have a look at where that USB is. So you can see TTY USB zero. Whatever yours is, you will need to, to change it to, to be the same as what we found in that difference folder. Um, so it'll always be in dev, but it, will, it, it could be anything. But basically, whatever you find in dev is the difference that goes in after this backslash here, forward slash. And uh, yeah, that's, that's how you create that, that thing that is on that USB, uh, on USB port. The next stuff down here, um, this is just to explicitly say what all of this stuff is. If you don't put this in, it sets to the um, it sets to the the, the standard 
Um, I know that the standard isn't 9,600, but I just kind of put it all in here for you to have a look at. If you go to the documentation for this, it's actually very good. And um, that's up here. So click that link and you'll be taken to uh, to the full documentation. This is where you set your, your board rate, your bit size, your parity, stop bits, your timeouts, and what mode you're running in. We're running in RTU. And, and this is how you change all of that base, all there for you to just uh, have a have a play with. Um, these next couple of sections, these are just to clean up everything before and after we've done a transmission, just to keep everything clean and make sure we don't leave any ports hanging open. Um, this line here, this is, I've, I've commented this out, but if you uncomment this line here, this will print out all of the properties of the setup when it before it prints out the table of, of everything it's just to help you debug if you're running to some issues to see what what is actually being put forward as the as the protocol to the sensor yeah comment that back out <laughs> this next line down here just makes it look cool if it's taking a while um but yeah just prints out that it's requesting the data from the sensor just before it requests data from the sensor these next lines down here just some notes um so this is assuming that Minimal Modbus assumes an offset of 40,001. So if I put in zero, it will actually be requesting or writing data at 40,001. So if you put in three, you'll actually be looking at 40,004, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just bear that in mind when you're, when you're addressing things. This next part down here, this is an example of reading a single register. So if I just wanted, uh, well, I've done it here just for temperature, but if you just wanted one thing, uh, you can use this line of code, comment it out, uh, and use these two lines down here. But yeah, basically it does what it says on the tin, the arguments, your register address, which is one, so that's 40,002. The number of decimal places you want on that, the function code, which for all this is three, because we're just reading um, a holding register, and the value, um, if it's signed or unsigned that you're looking for, and we're looking for an unsigned integer, so that is false. And then it just prints out that, that data there. So if you want to run that, that is all there for you. The next bit is the, the bit that we're actually running in the, in the code proper. So this is to get values from multiple registers. You can see here the difference in the code is in the single, we are sensiboy dot read register or underscore register and here sensiboy dot read underscore registers so plural the arguments are a little different it's the register start address so i want to read from 40,001, so zero and i want to read two registers so it'll be 40,001 and 40,002, and the function code goes in after that so you run that code and that gives you um I've just called it data here. That just gives you a list. Um, what I've done here is just print out that list of just the raw data. So print out the raw data for the lols. Because that data is a list, uh, we can index it. Um, so I've called hum, because uh, I know it's the humidity that is in 40,001, which is the, the first thing that we look at. So index zero of data is hum, and temperature is the first index. Oh, num number one, first being zero. It gets confusing when you're starting at zero. But humidity and temperature, also both divided by 10, because these come through uh, 10 times bigger than they should be. You divide through by 10 and that gives you your decimal place. And then you've got that data and then all that's left after that is to print it out in a nice table. So just make it look pretty. So this is just printing. And this is the bit where you need the Python 3 to run because I've done this as an F string. So we can get that hum and temperature and just plug it into that string there. So temperature equals what the actual temperature is, same with relative humidity. And a pro tip as well, if you wanted to make it look cool and do the degree symbol, the Unicode for the degree symbol is backslash U00B0. So you can see that is coming just after temperature and before the C. So that will give us a nice little degree symbol, makes it look all swish. And then right at the end, we close that out by making sure the ports are all closed. And it's that simple. Um, if you take out all of the, uh, if 
you take out all of the, the comments, there's really not a lot to this code at all. So if we come out to this, and let's try giving it a run. So Python 3 modbus py. There we go, that simple. And we can see that it, the raw data from the sensor is this list, so 692 and 244. Then on the back end, we've divided that through by 10 and presented it in this table. So temperature is 24.4 degrees C with an actual degree symbol, so looking cool. And relative humidity, 69.2. And we can run that as often as we like. Obviously, if you wanted to wrap this up into some more impressive looping code, please feel free. This is just to show you how minimal Modbus works and how to start pulling a sensor with it. So I hope this helped. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.